to say I'm really grateful for this report, and I'm also uh, really thrilled to see that there's been some costing out uh, with regards to the issue of criminalization. There's two studies that you've alluded to in, in this part of the report. One is a, one that was done in Montreal, then there's another one here that was done by the Solicitor General. I'm wondering, uh, are there any numbers that came out of, um, in terms of how much it costs when you look at the numbers of individuals that lose their housing because of their incarceration? I'm not aware of the sort of detailed numbers. Uh, that's uh, Amber Kellen from John Howard Society, um, and uh, you've got a study coming out very soon. Or is it out? Is it out? It's coming out very soon. It's very coming out very soon on incarceration and homelessness, which is very, very important. You know, I think uh, th this document and even the, the, the bigger document are meant to be more umbrellas. Um, we certainly want to, I think that's an important issue to take out. You know, one of the things that's most striking uh, on any piece of research, whether you're looking at uh, incarceration, uh, whether you're looking at hospitalization, uh, or just simply institutionalizing people in shelters, is uh, that there's a huge cost attached to that. We call it the cost of doing nothing, and it's far greater to do nothing, in other words, to institutionalize or criminalize uh, or hospitalize people than it is to uh, provide them with uh, good homes uh, and um, uh, the support that they need.